All right, let's talk about remortgages. Why are remortgages being done? What's what's the reason behind some of the remortgages that happen in the UK? And what you can do to ensure that you get the best product out there. Hi, it's Pai, I'm here from Niche Advice. Right, it's that time of the year where remortgages uh, are, are one of the main sources of uh, inquiries that we get from clients. Now, why are people remortgaging and why should you remortgage in certain circumstances, right? Because it's not right for all. Um, uh, let's talk about uh, some of the reasons why people are remortgaging. So some people are remortgaging because essentially they want to get a better rate. Right? Now, if you want to get a better rate, there are really good solutions out there, right? Because let's just assume you took your mortgage six years ago, 10 years ago, right? And you've done a product transfer and we'll explain what a product transfer is or your rate is coming up. You've got, you've got a couple of options out there. So your rate is coming up in the next couple of months. The first option is, what's my existing lender going to give me? So what are they, you know, what can they give me? So when you speak to an independent mortgage broker, what they can do is they can look at what the existing lender's product is and then compare it to what's out there in the market. And not just compare it on rates, but compare it on the fees that are involved. Is there a solicitor cost? Is there a survey cost? Is there a lending fee for the product? What is it? How does, how does this compare to your existing lender? And unfortunately, not enough people are contacting independent mortgage brokers to do that for them. What they're doing is going on the lender's website, receiving the lender's letter and going, oh, that sounds good. Okay then, and I'll tie myself in for another five years. Why would you want to do that? Why don't you want to find out what's actually out there and then compare it and have, better yet, have someone compare that to what you're being offered. So the first rule is don't take what the lenders give you. Consider it. Contact an independent mortgage broker and get them to compare it to what's available based on your circumstances, your income profile, your age, what your property type, okay? Because it doesn't make sense for some people to remortgage, frankly, okay? Because your existing lender could have your very competitive rate. The type of property that they've mortgaged, maybe they mortgaged it 10 years ago, and it's an absolute nightmare to remortgage. I'll give you an example. Anybody who's had a new build uh, that needs, you know, that's had cladding. Okay, in those cases, even if you wanted to, it's an absolute nightmare getting a remortgage if, it, if, the, if all the paperwork's not right. So in those circumstances, you're better off staying with your lender. However, if you have got the paperwork um, uh, and you're with a lender that's not as competitive, and the only way you're going to know that is by speaking to an independent mortgage broker or doing the research yourself, um, then you may be able to you know, switch the products. Now, Let's talk about like for like. So if it's a like for like mortgage, it's a £250,000 mortgage and you just want to get a better rate, there are lenders out there that will give you preferential multiples on your income. So one lender will go up to five and a half times your income if there is no change. So you're not going to borrow more, essentially. So affordability gets better because that's one of the, pe one of the reasons people are worried about it and one of the reasons they don't consider remortgages as much and they just go with what the lender gives them is they go oh, i cannot be dealing with all this paperwork i can't be bothered with all this paperwork that you're going to ask for me you're going to ask me for this bank statements explain this explain that and you're right we'll bloody have to okay because it's our asses on the line with the, with the with the regulator so we have to do our due diligence once again right however what can you get out of it well you're going to get a better rate potentially you're going to get a better product potentially you could play around with your term of your mortgage right i've done videos on this whereby maybe you you did a 30 year term when you initially bought the property and uh, now it's five years later why don't you drop it if you can make the payments why do you make it 20 years you can adjust your term if need be right because you're not that young naive first time buyer and you did a 35 year term you maybe you know you want to you want to bring that down you want to think about paying off your mortgage sooner so you can play around with your term then you could borrow more if you wanted to you could borrow less if you wanted to you could play around with the term we can get a better product so these are the reasons why remortgages are happening um, a lot of remortgages i have to say at the moment is happening because of home improvements 
right? So a lot of home improvements going on, a lot of extensions, a lot of loft conversions. So that's one of the reasons home improvements, a lot of remortgages are happening. Other reasons for remortgages is obviously buying other investment properties. Uh, we've got people that are buying, they're giving the money they, as a gift to the, for their children to buy uh, investment properties, buying cars, paying for weddings, paying for holidays. Now, all of those things lenders have actually got a criteria on because one of the things people are not aware of is when you're remortgaged, the lender wants to know what you're going to do with that money. So there are rules around that. There are a lot of lenders, especially on residential remortgages, they would want you, if you say, say you got a property worth 500 and it's got a mortgage of 100 on it and you want to borrow another 150 on it. Uh, reason for remortgage is buying another buy to let property. A lot of the lenders will not release the funds until you have an onward purchase. And that's important. They want to know where your money's going, what you're going to do with that money. If you say you're going to buy a property, where's your information about that other property? Where's your offer letter from that other property? So that's important. And the brokers will know the various rules around it. Which lender will ask for this? Which lender, at what stage will they ask for it? And that's important. Some lenders will go, well, we need that on application. We'll go, well, we don't have it. He hasn't found it yet. He needs to know whether he's got his money yet before we can go and find it. And the lenders will go, well, sorry, no. So other lenders will say we need it on the underwriting. Others will say we need it before we issue the offer, the formal offer. Others will say we need it before completion, uh, before we draw down on the funds. And there are rules around that. So uh, if you are looking to raise money for properties, that's what happens. Um, uh, debt consolidation is another one, right? So this is probably the next complaint 10 years down the line. Debt consolidation. Oh, I went to a broker. Um, I didn't know what I was talking about. And, you know, he gave me a remortgage and I didn't really need it because I could have paid my mortgages off. So it's really explaining to the client and you understanding if you are looking to you know, pay your credit cards off, pay your loans off, that you know, you're taking an unsecured debt, putting it into a secured environment. No one's going to come and repossess you if you don't pay your credit cards. However, if you stop paying your mortgage, you will try to get repossessed. Okay, so it's moving that debt that would be paid in five years, sticking it on a 25 year mortgage. Yet yeah, short term, it might be cheaper for you because you know, you've dropped your 18% rate on a credit card to 2% on a mortgage. However, you're now paying for the next 25 years that interest where you could have paid it off. So could you pay it off? Could you manage it? Or are you in that problematic phase where if you don't do something about this debt, it's going to get out of hand. And greater care needs to be really I mean that this debt consolidation is a real problem area for brokers um, because uh, we need to make sure that the client fully understands the, the consequences of what they're doing right and is not just swayed by the you know I'm gonna have a nice flashy car if I debt consolidate this I'll save myself 300 pounds do you know what I've seen a lovely BMW 300 pounds a month and I'll put it on lead all of that stuff has to come into it also background of debt consolidation is important um, two years ago oh I can see here two years ago you did a remortgage and you pulled out another 30k to pay off your credit cards and now you come back two years time and you want to pay off your credit cards again so that tells me there's a problem there with a the, with the credit card, you and your your relationship with your credit card. So, um, yeah, so there are history, historical issues where people are just rolling their debt on, rolling their debt on, adding it. Now, everything comes down to reasoning. You know, you could have been sick. You could be, you know, there are, as long as the conversation's had and you're making it clear to the broker, this is what's gone on, this is what's happened, then I think there is a, there is a certainly there's a place for debt consolidation um, there. But yeah, it's, it's fraught with dangers, that one. Um, yeah, so if you are looking to remortgage, do your homework, speak to your existing provider, speak to an independent mortgage broker, and then obviously make your own judgment on there. Make sure you ask the right questions. And these were some of the questions in there. Um, and then we can take it from there. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you on the next one. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.